All right, I promise we go to our Middle East correspondent for more on our breaking uh, news uh, this hour. The uh, fact that uh, an Israeli airstrike on, on the Gaza Strip has reportedly killed a young girl today. It's also injured several members of her family. Um, there's a tit for tat currently going on. We think it's escalating as well. The IDF saying uh, uh, tanks and military are involved. Let's talk to Paula Slea. Paula, um, as I say, it, it seems like this is escalating as the hours are going on. Um, certainly, the Israeli Prime Minister has called it very serious. What is the picture? Well, yes, Kevin, in the last hour, the situation here on the ground has escalated quite dramatically. One Palestinian girl, a three-year-old, has been killed in the Gaza Strip and some nine others injured. Among those injured are her mother and her brother. This comes as some 10 Israeli airstrikes hit Gaza over the past few hours. Now, they targeted the Al-Mahazi refugee camp as well as Islamic Jihad and Hamas sites, both in Khan Yunus in the south of the strip as well as in northern Gaza. Earlier on Tuesday, a Palestinian man was killed by Israelis west of Beit Lahia, which is also in the Gaza Strip. This was in retaliation to the earlier shooting and killing of an Israeli man by a Palestinian sniper. Now, this Israeli man was mending the border fence between Israel and Gaza when he was hit, and he died in hospital. What we're hearing now from Israeli sources is that this is the largest operation that the Israelis have carried out in terms of airstrikes over Gaza since the Operation Pull of Defense back in 2012. The IDF has also sent out an alert in the last few minutes warning border farmers as well as all residents within the vicinity of Gaza to stay at least one kilometer away from the fence and the understanding of course is that there could be further airstrikes in the coming minutes if not in the coming hours. So the situation on the ground extremely volatile. We're following it closely and everybody particularly the concerned that this could escalate into something much bigger than what we're witnessing at the moment. Yeah, Paula, thanks for the update from now. Paula Slayer, our Middle East correspondent there.